between intentional fouls, timeouts, and the stopping and starting of the clock, the final moments of a basketball game can sometimes feel as long as a feature-length film. But not in the CEBL. The CEBL adopted the Elam ending, which is a rule that uses a target score to end a basketball game instead of time running out on the clock. What that does is create more room for comebacks and it ensures each matchup ends on a game-winning basket. Here's CEBL commentator Sean Woodley to explain. When you get to the four minute point of a game now in the CEBL for all 26 games, uh, with four minutes remaining, they shut the clock off. They add nine points to the score of the leading team. And then that's the target score that both teams are playing to. So in theory, you could have a team that's up by 20. They get to the Elam ending, add nine points to that score. Say they're at, you know, uh, it's up 100 to 80. The target score becomes 109. The team that's down could in theory come back and win that game. But the clock is not an inhibitor to doing that anymore. There's going to be more comebacks, you would think. And you get rid of, again, all that stuff at the end of games, the slow pace, the back and forth, the fouls, the overcoaching, that's all gone. And it's kind of just distilled basketball, which is really the most exciting rule change that we're going to see in the CEBL this year. So it's very familiar to any international play you've seen just with this very cool and innovative ending that I think is going to really make the end of game super exciting. You can watch how the Elam ending spices things up in the CEBL Summer Series. CBC Sports is streaming the entire tournament across all our platforms, so head to cbcsports.ca for more information.